Hi, everybody. Welcome to another day of Boost Your Workspace. I am super excited to have another guest judge for you today. And this is also one of our sponsors for the contest. Please welcome Jeanette Patterson. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm sitting up here in my home office with my dog. Oh, hello. Say hi, Nice Jackie. to meet you. So in case, she, in case you see that head pop up during this uh, meeting, that's, she's in my lab right now. Oh, no worries. We love, we love dogs here. Okay. Um, and yeah, and just some facts about Jeanette. Um, Jeanette owns Mindful Living by Design, a firm specializing in holistic interior design. And she has over 30 years of experience and she's super passionate about helping high achieving professionals live in functional and beautiful spaces that support a stress-free lifestyle. So Jeanette, you're going to be the perfect judge for today. Great. Great. Thank awesome. you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no worries. Okay. So without further ado, let's uh, see what we got today. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, this is our first submission of the day. Okay, she's going to play hack as an environment. Okay, so clearly <laughs> there's a lot of help that needs to be done in this one. I mean, yeah. there is not one thing that is right about this particular issue. And, and from reading what, he, what the person wrote, Red was saying that basically is like camping, bins, air mattress. So I think this is... Um, I mean, anything would help, but this is in dire straits at this point. Yeah, the paint so, cans. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what else we got. Okay. Okay, now this, they got a great monitor, and they're able to mm -hmm. tie it into their laptop. Mm hmm Mattress. Um, so it looks like they have... Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, so gaming console. I don't know, you know, booster space for work, gaming <laughs> console. I, I, you know, it looks like they may have some things already on order. And, um, you know, I would, I'd have to see what they, you know, what, what is on order, but thinking that they're gonna get something resolved before this, is, this crisis is over. I mean, it's probably, yeah. the is probably going to be in the same boat that his furniture is in. So that doesn't really quite solve that need if he wants this in between, you know, this whole pandemic thing. Because some That's stuff a good is not point. out fast at all. Yeah. Clients are having their shipments being delayed. Yeah, with Amazon, there's like a huge backlog. Right. Right. Okay, so maybe we can move forward then. Okay. So there's this, this one. one. Um probably elevating a chair, uh, yeah. creating some file or someplace to put paper flow. It seems like what's the need here. Mm -hmm. But there's can't no really see support. it clearly. Yeah, I can't really see it clearly, but yeah. you know, it looks like they definitely would need some back support. They're going to be leaning and probably looking down, which yeah. does not uh, lend itself to great productivity. Yeah, Sasha's saying, honestly, my back is shot. So uh, <laughs> I yeah, I can see feel that. Talking. <laughs> Sasha, hit me up. I can help you out. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one, Tom's. Okay, well, at least it's bright enough to um, elevate. Yep. But it looks like he's going to still have um, an issue with his chair in, in ergonomics and being comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. He says it's yeah, no backrest. So it's hard to really say, but. It looks like he's probably in need of a chair. So, you know, that's what nice I Nice view, say. though. Nice view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this one. That one looks like they are, have a TV tray on their bed. Yeah. And there's some cable management. So they probably need a separate surface, a, a niche or a corner for something that ha else to happen. So yeah. They, so they, it's hard to tell what they would need and what would be the best benefit for them because it looks like they're working in bed. Yeah, I can't really see the space that clearly. See the next one here. Oh, cute dog. Yes. Adorable. <laughs> okay, so this one looks like they have a little niche and then there's ways to do some things. We'll get a chair that could work it's in the kitchen as well as being functional and comfortable enough to work at it for an extended period of time and maybe some type of 
management of paper flow a little bit. So that's what I would recommend in that space. I, we can't tell what the rest of, he probably um, has other, uh, may have other parcels that look like that, but I'd have to see the entire space. But I think for the workspace itself, share and a way to handle paper because yeah, the surface is not very large. I do like the plant though. That kind of gives a nice little touch. Yeah, that's really key in biophilia. It makes us feel better when we're working. Yeah, I saw that in your daily tips. Mm -hmm. It's really good to have some type of plants. As this young man is like, he's ready to go. Okay, he needs a light. Okay, clearly uh, I just <laughs> see that he has a light sitting with no shade, sitting next to the computer. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Um, so, but it's also on a kitchen island. And it looks like there's some pendants uh, uh, overhead. So I don't know if he wants to make this a, a permanent working solution. And if it is, what I would suggest here is something again to elevate his computer so he keeps his back and his um, neck in good shape, as well as maybe a chair that has a different type of pitch or yeah. getting a lumbar pillow. Something as simple as a lumbar pillow can go l very far in creating comfort. Yeah, the boxes always get me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see what else we have here. Oh, that's actually quite nice. What do you think? It is, okay, they got the plant element in there. Um, the chair does not necessarily look like something that they could work in all day. It doesn't look like they have space for working materials, files, if, they, if it's really gonna be a home office. Um, maybe filing cabinet, um, mm -hmm. chair. And there's a different desk, but you know, this is not for that price. So I would say maybe seating and or, you know, another lift. That's a, cute, a huge problem in most offices, not having things at the right height. Mm hmm Yeah, otherwise you're slouching or something like that. Right. And you wonder why you have any neck problems. Now this yeah. one, um, it's not bad. He's still tight on space. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like there's a cushion in the chair. So, and that's a, a pretty classic chair and it's actually pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, um, maybe a pad so he doesn't mess up the desk, but I think they have the simple basic elements. They're able to look outside. I just can't, it looks like he's look. I don't, it looks like I see a propane can or something on the outside. So, it's like storage or something. Or some, yeah, so maybe something that, you know, motivating tips. The, some of that stuff is huge when you want to take it, your eye needs to respite and you look away. You know, yeah. having something to say, like in my office, you know, make today yours or you were born to shine. Oh, that's really that nice. Says, she who dares wins. You know, so when you're like being frustrated, you're like, okay, keep, keep going, Jeanette, keep going. Yeah, that would be really nice. I see that they do have some art at the back, which is a nice little touch. Yeah, it is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. It's probably an extension of the kitchen, I would imagine, which means it's not permanently there, which means does he have to move the monitor all day? There's some more questions. Mm -hmm. um, let's say it would be nice, something bigger. Okay, yeah, all right. This one? Okay, there's some cable management issues. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty uh, messy down there. Yeah, it's a little messy. So, um, like I said in my tips, you, there's cables and cord covers that you can get, but even just putting zip ties and straighten them out and shorten them into little lengths makes them much more tidy. So yeah. that's, that's a tip that everybody can use without having to spend a lot of money. You can get a bag of zip ties for a couple bucks at Home Depot. They're mm -hmm. open because they're considered an essential business, at least here in the States. Um, he has a laptop on a laptop. Oh yeah, he's got two I, laptops there. <laughs> you know, he could, uh, it's a small space. He could get more storage if he actually didn't have a pedestal, a pedestal um, table. And they make some small spaces or he could have a standing desk where you can put a filing cabinet underneath it. Mm -hmm. And um, standing desks are pretty popular. I don't necessarily want to stand but at my desk all day, but um, I do stand occasionally when I'm on the phone. Yeah. 
All right. I think, I feel like that's all the submissions. I don't think there's any oh, more. for today. So yeah. I would say, um, back. And, what is, and how, what is today's price? How much? This is for the $150 to boost your workspace. Um, I would give it to either the, the one with the one right off the kitchen, the little square with the laptop, laptop and the monitor who had the, that one. Do one, him or the one right before it? This one or this one, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm what's like your final it. choice? Uh, okay, hold on. Flip back again. And go back one more time. Let's turn on that. Oh, I just lost your screen. Um, the, the lighting is also not bad. I mean, everything is wrong with this stuff. I need a proper table that I can use a standing or sitting or over there. I think the visual line would be awesome. Um, um, I would say this, this gentleman. With All right. Book. Yeah. So Raphael. All right. So our judge has spoke. Raphael, you are the winner for today's Boost Your Workspace. Congratulations, Raphael. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jeanette, for picking the winner for today. You're welcome. Uh, we have, yes. So we had so many submissions. Um, I do feel really bad because we can't really, of course, give one thing to everybody. But it's really great because every submission we're donating ten dollars to charity for COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you what ends up happening, you still make a difference. So and thank if you they everybody. want to get a hold of me and follow me on some of my um, get tips or email me and I can give them some tips and where to go and whatnot. That's JeanettePatterson.com is the easiest way to get to me. J E A N E T T E Patterson P A T T E R S O N dot com. Perfect. And we'll be making sure that we'll link your profile to the participants as well. So if they want more information, they can always okay. email you as well. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much guys for watching and All hope right. you guys stay safe and make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's winner. Great. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye.